Here are three tips to why you should never use Fusion for your motion graphics and visual effects in DaVinci Resolve, and why those reasons make you look like a cotton-headed ninny muggins. <laughs> Sorry for my French. Reason one is there's no layers in Fusion. How the heck are we supposed to do anything without layers? Actually, there kind of are layers. There's just not a panel called layers inside of Fusion. If you want to put one layer on top of another, you use a merge node. Connect it to the merge. All nodes have one job, and the merge's job is to put a foreground over a background. And so if you have one layer that you want to put over another one, instead of stacking them, you run the background into the yellow input and the foreground into the green input, which seems freaking complicated. That's so much more work than just putting a layer on top of another layer. Is it though? Because you have to either open or make your elements. So here I have a background and here I have a text. And to put the text over the background, all I do is grab the output of the text and drag it on top of the output of the background and boom. We have our text, which is layer two, over our background, which is layer one. Let's say I want to put text on top of this. I can select this merge, hit text, and guess what? It's already made a merge, already made the text. All I have to do is type it in, and then boom. Just make this a different color so we can see it. We have our third layer over our second layer, and it's pretty darn quick once you know what you're doing with nodes. Another major reason not to use Fusion is there aren't any templates available. There aren't any presets. Nobody's making plugins. Nobody's doing it. There's no support. Really? You sure? You sure that's the thing? Really? You sure? <laughs> you sure about that? I, I don't really know. No, I'm just kidding. There are certainly a lot more resources and templates and presets and things that you can download for apps like After Effects because After Effects has been around and been the standard for a really long time. And your After Effects plugins and presets are probably not going to work in Fusion, which is a super bummer. But there is a quickly growing community of people that are making presets, making titles, making transitions and graphics packs and elements and plugins and scripts and all kinds of stuff for Fusion. And there's also a growing community of super creative people who have recently switched from programs like After Effects and are making similar things for Fusion. So I think we're I think we're getting into some uh, pretty exciting times when it comes to templates and downloads and presets and things like that. Reason number three, three to never use Fusion is, well, I already know After Effects. I'm just going to do everything I need in After Effects. OK, no, no, I, I definitely understand this. It's always more comfortable to stick with what you're used to. But let me just put this little seed in your bucket. <laughs> if you're editing in Resolve, how much time are you taking to export a clip, bring it into After Effects, do all your work in After Effects, export it out, bring it back into Resolve, only to realize that oh, you actually need to change a little bit, going back to After Effects, rendering it out again, bringing it back in, updating it. That back and forth, that costs time. And chances are, if you already know After Effects, 90% of this knowledge of the concepts that you've learned working in After Effects are going to transfer right over to Fusion. And so if you're really good at After Effects, you might spend maybe a week or two learning Fusion, but you can think of it like an investment because you don't have to round trip into Fusion. You can just edit a clip in the Fusion page. If I wanted to add a little bit more steam coming off of this chicken nugget in this shot, instead of rendering this out and bringing it into After Effects and doing all of that, I can just switch over to Fusion, grab a little fast noise, mess with some stuff, mask it a little bit, and boom, I have a little bit more steam coming off of that. Switch back to my edit, and I have my steam composited on there, and it took like 10 seconds. I wouldn't even be into After Effects by that point. Ah oh, yes, this is as I've discovered in my previous work. No. And all of those little moments add up. Not to mention you can use the same color management and color science and everything inside of Fusion as in the color page. They talk to each other nicely. And so there's three reasons why you might not want to use Fusion with maybe a couple sneaky little comments of my own along the way. And I know what it's like to be in this mindset because this was me. I was super into After Effects and I did everything in that app for a really long time. And when I started editing in Resolve and they added Fusion, I was a little bit worried about the switch. But once I started to understand nodes a little bit, I realized how powerful of a program this is just built right into Resolve. So if you haven't given Fusion a chance, maybe give it a chance. I even have a workshop right here 
It's called the nine nodes that you need to make almost anything in Fusion. If you're brand new to nodes, check out this video where I explain nodes with Toast. My name's Casey and I teach Fusion and I want to hang out with you, okay? Check out the nine nodes, check out this video and you know, let's hang out some more, okay? Cheers.